Look at this. Atari Millipede. And it is Get out of the way! Always in the way. <sighs> a Flintstones. Anyway. That's not how you do it. Kurt, where is where is that boy? Do you know Kurt every night goes home and he watches our YouTube videos and he listens for us calling his name. So if you ever hear Kurt in the videos, you know what we're doing. <laughs> anyway, Millipede. Centipede was a huge hit and we sold dozens of them. Dozens. But you know we've only this is our seventh millipede we've sold. Not many. There are not many out there. They didn't sell well, they put them out of production, but the artwork on this game is terrific. And this particular millipede has to be our nicest one. Look at this original side art. It is like near perfect. It's bright, vibrant, and we've dolled it up with this beautiful green, light green tea molding from teamolding.com. A new overlay from Arcade Shops. Baby, it's gorgeous. New rollers in the trackball. Look, you can move it with your. I could actually you can move it with your pinky. I was, was going to say you move it with your. It moves beautifully. The uh, we've also done the bearings in that. Look at this. It's beautiful. New fire button. We always get these red. Did you see that? These boys. Anyway. The customer will get our master lock in case he buys more games. This is actually a trade-in. So he has one game he traded in, now he's getting another. So he only has one game in his house. We have a forever minimum of half back in credit. So you have a way of rolling out the game if you're bored of it. Let's look at the inside of this beauty. Our wonderful Geo 7 monitor. That was not the original television in there. It had that wretched, horrible Mitsubishi or something like that. Worst monitor on planet Earth. Absolute most horrible monitor. They were put in pole positions, crystal castles, and millipedes. Possibly another, but pure garbage. We actually carried it out and put it right outside for the recyclers. Recycling ladies come every day and they take tons of monitors out of here and everything's recycled for the uh, metal. So it's great. They don't go in the dumpsters. They get recycled. We put in a good old Geo 7 with a new flyback, a boatload of new capacitors, and some other mods that we do that other people skip. Down on the bottom, a new capacitor, and the power supply has been rebuilt. All that's from Bob Roberts, which you already know if you've been watching our videos. We've taken out our logic board and given that a good thorough servicing. New casters on the bottom. Are you still, still doing this? in the way? <sighs> you know. One day, they're going to elect a statue in this town in my honor. Maybe when you get the help. Did you hear that? Again! It's the peanut gallery. What are you working on? Ah, ha, ha, oh! Time warp. That's right. Wait a minute! Please don't ever do that again. Please. <sighs> it's just a jump to the left. Okay, forget that. Forget what that. I thought a small earthquake. Oh, and look, Buck Rogers. There's, there's nothing on the play field. How are you, you gonna go. play pinball like this? Very carefully. <laughs> Yes, you got to take everything off the play field to do these right. And uh, we have to do them right, make sure they're perfect. We spend hours and hours on these machines, more than a lot of people. They don't want to be bothered. But it's worth it. You know why? Because if somebody trades these games in down the road... <sighs> have you ever watched one video where that phone has not uh, run? <laughs> Earl, get it. Wait a minute. Earl. Let me see who it is. Can I help you? Good. Yes, we're open till 8 o'clock. Thank you. See, somebody else could have told them that. I have to do everything around here. Everything! What exactly do you do? 
You know what? Enough we, better, we better fade out because there's going to be some punching for in a moment.